doing Mr. Well? How are you doing? I'm doing really well. You're talking to me? Uh, yes, I'm talking to you. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> you doing really well? Thank you. Um, you know, in the pursuit of my own happiness, I believe you got this Oscar. I really do. <laughs> no, that, oh, thank you. Sure. Thank you um, so much. My question is, you had two opposing forces. You had that mm -hmm. will uh, of King Richard, who was so mm -hmm. driven to get mm -hmm. his young black girls into a white mm -hmm. world and mm -hmm. into a white sport. At mm -hmm. the same time, he was disabled. Mm -hmm. I was so amazed by your ability to to harness that brain in a semi-disabled body. Mm -hmm. So you had to keep track of all the disability, mm -hmm. at the same time keep moving forward. Yeah, yeah. How do you do that? I know you're a professional actor, but that is, I think, what you earned. And Thank you so it's much. It's overdue, this hospital. You know, there, there's, um, there's a magical moment as an actor that you you do all of the work you know you can break a person's personality down and you can understand their desires and their traumas and what are their physical injuries and ailments and how their body moves and where they place their tongue on their lower teeth and you know you do all of the technical things you get all of that but then there's a magical moment and you never know when it'll come or if it'll come for some movies, right? But there's a, there's a moment when you get it. Something clicks and you understand. And this is gonna sound like a joke, but it's so true. When I put, when I put the wardrobe on, as soon as I put the short shorts on, <laughs> right? And I put all of this stuff on, it dawned on me, I was like, wait a second. He thinks he's fly, oh, right? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. he's yeah. he's playing the part of the tennis guy, and he's had got swag, and he's coming in, and I was like, oh no! And I clicked, and I started talking to people about him, and it was when I discovered he how everyone thought of him close as charming. Yes, yes. he was always joking he had a wide open heart and it was just somehow the the clothes led me to the comprehension of his wide open so. joy yeah, yeah. like for for people and for interacting and then i you know people started telling oh he was always talking to the girls and he was always he always had a quip always had a joke and venus and serena were saying that literally every word out of his mouth was funny he was always joking and he needed people to be light and he needed things to be fun and that and that that was that was the click that happened. I was like, okay, I got this guy. And I who understand. better? And who better? Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.